Yesterday, Sarah, when you spoke to, to the, 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 the audience, you, you mentioned that, that nematodes were something that people sort of thought of last. Why is that? Nematodes are really difficult to distinguish, first of all, because they're a root issue, they're a pest of roots. So often people are looking above the ground and they're not thinking about what's below the ground. It's very easy to see when you've got a rust issue or a foliar issue, because it's right there visually for you but root issues are obviously harder to see. And it's also because nematodes are really about pruning of the roots. So the plant itself is less able to uptake water and nutrients. So often growers think that they have nutrient issues or they have um, sp spray issues or other things when actually it's the underlying issues is nematodes that have pruned the roots so the plants aren't, aren't growing um, adequately. So traditionally nematodes are the last port of call? They are definitely the last port of call for um, the place that many people look. So if you start looking I guess it'd be easy to sort of just dig up a few roots and have a look at, at their health? That is a really good thing is for growers if they think they have an issue to actually get out in the paddock and dig up some plants, not pull up because then you pull most of the roots off but if you actually dig up some plants from an area that uh, looks bad and some roots from an area that looks good, wash them off or just even shake them off and compare them. Okay. I understand that, that, that different species of nematodes attack different sorts of crops? That's right. We have definitely do have uh, the situation with root lesion nematode in Western Australia. We have Pradolinchus neglectus is the most common. Pradolinchus Therese is a West Australian issue and we also have Pradolinchus penetrans. Now they all have different preferences as far as crop is concerned and varieties within crops as well. So for management of the different nematodes it's important to know what you have so you can most appropriately manage them both through crop and variety choices. Is there any cultural uh, practices that, that one should adopt to, to minimise Nematodes? Cultural practices. In terms of rotations, uh, obviously varieties, are there some varieties that are less susceptible than others? Certainly there is a big, we've done a lot of research looking at uh, wheat and the different varieties of wheat and there is, in the wheat and barley variety guides we give information on the resistance of the different um, varieties to root uh, neglectus, Pradolinchus neglectus and uh, certainly as far as crop is concerned um, there is a lot of different crop choices that people can make once they know what nematode issues they have. If you, if you discover that you have nematodes is there anything you can do? Yes there is. Uh, crop rotation is the key. Variety choices is also the key. So it is about uh, a lot of people are turning now to crop rotations where they might be looking wheat on wheat or wheat, barley, canola. And for, for most growers, they need to be aware that our most prevalent Pradolinchus issues, root lesion nematode issues, they are very susceptible to root lesion nematode for um, neglectus and penetran, uh, sorry, neglectus and Therese. So those rotations, they may be inadvertently increasing their numbers over time. And um, is the effect of nematodes exacerbated by, by seasonal stress? The season with most disease issues it really, depend, it really has a big impact on the expression of the, of the pest within a crop. So in some seasons where you um, have conditions, it's basically about plant stress. So in a, in a season where your plants are more stressed, you are more likely to have the conditions where the nematodes will be able to cause problems to the plants. Because it's a root pruning issue, yes. so if the plant's able to cope with less water and less nutrient uptakes and still get, you can still get the yields. But if the plant's under stress, it's less able to cope with that the less root area. Is it a problem that's, that's emerging or becoming more serious is it, or is it something we've had all, forever? It is something that we've had forever, but if we continue to have seasons that are unusual, particularly when, if we continue to have rainfall events through the summer and autumn periods, that can create the situation where we have more green bridge, more weeds and more volunteer crops that may begin to increase the nematode numbers before the season even starts. So in this 2013, we saw a lot of root lesion nematode symptoms in paddocks 
and we think that it's closely tied to the two to three rainfall events that a lot of the growing areas had. So they had a lot of volunteer crops, they had a lot of um, green pastures and they had a lot of weed issues. Right, so keeping that green bridge down is, is, is essential. It is a very important part of the uh, nematode problem, yes. If you have a susceptible green bridge, that is. <laughs>